NPR News. We are providing the most reliable source of local news. Getting inside every story, breaking down all the important information, helping you understand how the news affects you. We are News 10, leading the way. The Terre Haute Fire Department and the city of Terre Haute seem to have finally come to terms. Good evening, I'm Patrice Dayton. And I'm Mark Allen. It has been more than a year since the Terre Haute Firefighters Union has been without contract with the city. Now both sides are announcing they've reached a tentative agreement. News has Janice Allen joins us now live from Terre Haute Fire Department Station 5. Janice? After three unofficial, I'm sorry, after three official negotiation sessions, a tentative agreement has been reached and it seems to be one that both sides are happy with. The agreement calls for three-year contract and calls for a 3.3 percent salary increase across the board, plus an increase in longevity pay by $15 a year. Overall benefits will remain unchanged. Now the next step is to draft a new document reflecting these changes. Once both sides approve it, it will be taken to a board to the Board of Public Works and Safety for ratification. City officials say that could be as early as mid to late March. And as with all good negotiations, there was give and take on both sides, and we eventually were able to get to an agreement that both sides are happy with. Now, since this agreement is in the very early stages, Terre Haute Fire Department workers declined to comment. News 10 did contact the union president, who stressed this is just a proposal and that it still needs to be reviewed and voted on by union members. Reporting live from Terre Haute Fire Station Number 5, I'm Janice Allen.